Hello everybody, this is Anything Third Person and you're watching Splinter Cell Blacklist. Okay, so the game just loaded right here. I don't know where I am. Where am I? How did I get here? Where is this? Oh, I was here. Okay, I was here in the last, uh, in the last episode. Okay, gotcha. So let's try that again. Alright, rewind, rewind, rewind. Hello everybody, this is Anything Third Person. You're watching Splinter and Blywood. Okay, here we go. Let's flip the light switch off. Because darkness is my ally. Oh, oh no! New! New! Oh, oh I see, it's supposed to do that. Oh, that was a poorly scripted event. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? Stuntman number one. You merely adopted it. Oh no! Come here! Okay, I should save my Bane impression for another time. Alright, I, I need him to stop looking at that wall. It's not that interesting. Go away, please. Seriously, dude. Oh, what the oh, okay. Forget that guy then. What can I do in this situation? It's okay, I got him. And nobody saw a thing. Uh oh, he heard, he heard. Oh no, oh no. Okay, everything is fine. I think there's that one guy left, the one with the shield. But I think we can avoid him. Where is he? Where is you? Alright, so I'm gonna mark him. And then just... Sneak. Quietly. Now how do I get past him? No, not no. How do I cancel? Okay. Do I still have any more? All right, because I just restocked. So I'm gonna throw a sticky over there. There we go. All right, can I have this shield? No. Oh, I can. Yes. Actually, I don't know why, why I would need this. Go away. How do I... There we go. Well, it's awfully bright. I don't like it when places are this bright. Reinforcements coming in, Sam. Why? Briggs is on route in a van. Briggs? We'll find about it after he gets you the hell out of there. Meet him on the far side of the exterior garden. I told you I don't want Briggs. Escape Terran. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, uh oh, oh, there are guys around. Oh no, why did I do that? I accidentally threw a sticky. I don't know if you guys saw. Okay. You know. A radar system in a stealth game doesn't seem to make quite a lot of sense. Because it makes it makes sneaking around way too easy, I think. It is only three guys, right? And I've marked them all. So I'm gonna just come here and execute. Okay. You know, although it's not really a splinter cell, old school splinter cell kind of mechanic, I still think the mark and execute is a really cool feature. 
it kind of embraces the special ops kind of oh 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 no special ops kind of training that he does so he kind of like hones in on his targets like a ninja and then shoot shoots all right i don't even think that's where i'm supposed to go so i'm gonna just let him live capture uh oh oh is someone coming oh no How, what, what do i where do i hide oh no oh no where do i go oh no i'm stuck okay time run Oh. Alright, so I need him to come a little bit closer. Alright, I got you. Why is he a high value target? I don't know. He just looks like uh, another infantryman. All right, so let's try this way. Hey. No, how do I? Okay, I forgot how to crouch for a second there. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna mark both of those guys. Maybe I can bypass them. Maybe I can throw this guy down. Maybe not. Uh oh. Okay, bye. I'm just gonna just gonna chill out right here. So dog and what else? Just one dog? One doggy. See if I can find another way out. Maybe I can shoot him from here. Oh! Well, that's some lightning fast reaction time. So what do I do? I'm a little stuck. Do I throw a smoke? Maybe? Maybe? Oh, okay, or that. Oh no, no, dog, dog. I can't shoot. Sam, please. Oh, I don't have time for this. Sorry, doggy. Alright, so looks like I have attracted a horde of reinforcements, as always. Or not. Okay. Somehow everything is still quiet. Where are the others? That oh, there we go. Mark him. Why can't I mark him? Is it because he's too far? There we go. Oh, he's just a no he's just a normal guy. All right. I want to see if I can leave them alone. They're just trying to do their jobs. Alright, so... You know, I don't know if I like this transition from a strictly stealth... Um, what is it? I guess kind of role-playing to an extent. 
to more of an action stealth hybrid. I'm not sure if I like that exchange because that's what was so cool about the first one. Okay, I can't I can't go here. Hit it. UAV show the Devon Plus vehicles racing to your position. Another wave of enemy vehicles closing on you. Uh, can you find a way around them? The only way out is through them. What do you mean? Bring in the drone lower. Raider, I'll pick it up. That's the least of our problems. AGM missiles online. Negative. Repeat negative. I'll trace it back to the US. Grim! Weapons hot on the UAV. Grim, I hope you know what you're doing. No, this is a bad idea. This is going to be the start of an international crisis. Okay, but we have to protect Sam. So, sorry guys. Sorry, US. Enemy vehicle is out. Oh, wow. This is going to cause a problem, isn't it? This is going to come back. This will come back to haunt me later. But Iranian military bands are lighting up. We're getting noticed? Really? Won't There's a big plane shooting. Shooting cannons into the ground. On a major freeway system, it looks like. Oh, I gotta lead it. Okay, no time. I don't like that. I mean, I like it. I like that. It's, it's a little cool, but it's a little too Call of Duty for me. I know that an unauthorized drone strike was... There was no drone strike. There was a very unfortunate drone malfunction. Of course. There is a reason you're on that plane. I need you to be my eyes and ears on this mission. I am, Madam President. Not if I can't trust you. Come on. You couldn't have been expecting a thank you. You would have done the same thing in my position. Gambled with the war to save your life? I did what I did for the sake of the mission. I guess the president's not the only one with a good cover story. The data we found clears Iran of any involvement with the Black That's List. That's not my point. I know your point. You think I made a bad call, just like Briggs did in London, right? The decisions we're forced to make are not always black and white, Sam. They just can't be personal. Really? Then lead by example. We both know damn well you'd risk everything if Vic's life had been on the line. Vic has nothing to do with this. He's the only reason you're on this plane. The only thing you value more than the job? The team. Grim. Thank you. You want to thank me, talk to Briggs. We need him if we're going to pull through this one. Hey, guys, that tracker on the chemical weapon, it's almost on U.S. soil. Aw. Sam and Grimm had a moment. I don't like that at all. They're not supposed to have moments. You know, okay, so here, if, if you have never played the other Splinter Cell, game, Splinter Cell games, Grimm was like a voice yeah. in his head. You know, you know be quiet for a second. Be quiet for a second, okay? Be quiet. All right. Grimm was the voice in Sam's head that told him where to go. She hacked like doors and stuff. But they had little banters, and that was what kind of brought up Sam's and Grimm's characters in the previous games. And now it looks, it looks like they're trying to kindle some kind of a sexual tension between the two and although they both look similar in age I think Sam is about 50 years old and Grimm is about early 30s because she was very young when she was recruited into the NSA whatever Sam's division is NSA of killing people and as I mentioned I don't like that this is a stealth action hybrid I mean it's, it's a good step towards mainstream gaming but i think it feels a little out of touch with the franchise 
not that I don't like it. It's just I think it doesn't do much for the franchise itself. Anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering. Hello, Dad. Hey, I just wanted to call, see how you were. I don't know. Scared? The blacklist thing's ticking down, so people are going nuts. Everybody's hiding in their basements. Well, there are worse places to be right now. Are we going to war with the Randad? Because that's what everybody's saying. Well, it kind of depends on the president, how fast she reads what Grimm sent her. Did you guys? No, I'm not going to ask. Good. Oh, before I forget, Uncle Vic sends his best. He's awake? You talked to him? For like five minutes before they put him under again. He's... he's in a lot of pain. But he said to tell you that he'd be back. And that you owe him a beer. Yeah, that sounds like Vic. That's yeah, good to hear. But hey, sweetheart, I need you to do me a favor, okay? Stay home tomorrow. I... I will. Good. Dad, I... I wish I could tell you, but I can't. But do this for me, please. Alright, so it seems like there's a theme to the way the story's going. Sam is clear, clearly a man of mission. He is there for the greater good, whatever that is. So whatever needs to be done to secure the mission is what he does. So he was mad at Briggs because he missed an important mission objective because he was trying to save Sam. Grimm also almost caused an international crisis because she was trying to save Sam and Briggs. Now Sam has a very hard exterior shell but I think he would also do the same thing to save Briggs and Grimm and, and I think we were meant to see that as players were meant to see that Sam would do the same thing in the situation but we're just supposed to see him as kind of a ruthless rugged veteran in the field wow look at that lighting man that is some detailed model right there. Anyway, so, um, what was I saying before I got distracted by Sam Fisher's extremely good looks? Anyway, uh, oh yeah, and I think where this is going is Charlie might do the same thing where Sam's in trouble and Charles is the only person who can help him out, but he also has to endanger the mission. And I think towards the end, Sam will also have to do something that will endanger the mission, but it's good. But it is for the good of the team. That's extremely cheesy, especially in such a testosterone-driven action title. But I think that's where the story is heading, and I have no problem with that. Also, I think the the little shootout that we just had on the freeway with the drone. It's. Hey, I'm talking here. Okay, don't you hear me talking? The little shootout, that felt too Call of Duty for me. And Call of Duty is, is not a bad title. And I mean, I personally play all the single player missions for every title because they're usually worth it and they're scripted very well. Except for Black Ops 2, maybe. So I think it's gearing up to be more of an action packed thriller than a stealth kind of a crawl in the plot and I'm not sure if that's the direction I want the franchise to go just because maybe just because I'm resistant to the change Charlie hey Sam I finally scrubbed all that data you pulled from Tehran get anything on the blacklist Kud's force had a kill order out on Sadiq I don't think your buddy the general was lying in the bad news department our trace on Nuri's phone went gonzo all of a sudden we'll dig him up great well then we just have to worry about the holy shit, what the hell are we gonna do department. The chemical weapons we tracked from London, they're in the States. Charlie, that's a good thing. It means our plan's working. Man, I'd hate to see what your definition of bad is. Wait a minute. Nice work, Charlie. I'll uh, keep you posted, Sam, on everything. Wait a minute, why is that good again? Why is, why is that the plan? I thought the plan was to keep the chemical weapons off the U.S. soil. You know, I haven't visited this guy in a long time. 
Coben. And I also noticed that all these characters play a very familiar stereotypical role. Like he plays the kind of goofy villain that plays the part of comic relief. Sam is the hardened leader. Charlie is the really young techie. Grim is attractive redhead on the mission. And Briggs is the guy named Briggs. Every modern military shooter has one. Oh. You know, I did a lot of business with Iran back in the day. Glad I'm not losing the supplier. You're a hell of a guy, Coven. Come on. Capitalism was around long before I showed up. Besides, compared to some of the other assholes in my line of work, I'm a saint. Compared to anyone else, you're an asshole. This is true. Coben also has missions for me. I gotta do these missions. I think we're good. Eventually. <sighs> you're a real buzzkill, Fisher. Yeah, he is. He's a little bit. A lot. I wonder what they're gonna do with Coben once they land. I mean, I know he has immunity, but I'm not sure if CIA will just let him go. He seems harmless, but he's a weapons dealer, so he can't be. Alright, so that's enough chatter for now. I've been actually holding off the next mission until the next video. I seem like I was cut off the mission almost towards the end. So let's see if we can finish one next time. Alright, thank you for watching. You've been watching Splinter Cell Blacklist, and this is Anything Third Person signing up.